Right, we have our wooden formers. We've got two wooden formers made. We have our piece of brass cut out nice and neatly like that. Um, now some of the edges of the brass may be a little bit jagged. So what we're going to do is if we take a sanding block and just go around the edges, particularly if there's any high spots or any very jagged edges, and just clean them off back down to the line which is marked out on there. Alright, now we we'll clamp it between the two pieces of wood and we're going to hammer over this edge around here and it's going to create the end caps on our um, brass container. Unfortunately, we need to um, do something with the brass because the brass at the moment is too, uh, it's too kind of stiff it's quite hard to change, we need to make it more malleable and we're going to do that by annealing it up, annealing the brass. Annealing is a process where we bring a material back to its maximum softness and we're going to do that by heating. So we need a gas torch and so behind me here on the wall we have our fuel gas. So we push this lever down so that it lines up straight up and down. The regulator is reading about 50 kilopascals, which is about where we want it to be. And then we come across here to the oxygen one. There's one in the middle, but we're going to leave that one. Um, so we're just using the, the black one, which is acetylene, and then oxygen. And so this time we open this, just like opening a tap, and it's reading a similar reading here, around 80 kilopascals. I might take that down a little bit. That's fine. As long as it's operating in the yellow zone there. All right. Let's light that. Now I'm not sure it's going to light. Oh, the power is on. Right, this is our welding torch here. It's got two controls on it. Uh, the fuel, which is red, and blue, which is oxygen. We're going to open them both gently and close them gently. Open, close gently. Now we're going to open the fuel one. We can do that over here we can see it. About an eighth of a turn. And then I'm going to use the flint lighter. We've got a flame, and we're going to open that flame um, just until we get separation, or just before separation. We get separation there, we have a gap in between. We don't want that, we want to bring that back like that. Okay, open the oxygen now, the other control, this one here, until the flame, we get a nice blue inner cone. Nice blue inner cone, that's where all the heat is. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to heat this around the edges until it goes red hot. We are heating it on top of the bricks. These are refractory or fire bricks. They're not just any old bricks. That's what they are. You'll notice a piece of brass says, I don't like this. I'm going to buckle. And that's because as we heat it, it expands. Now you notice I'm keeping the torch moving because if I stop the torch, it will melt brass completely. You also notice I'm only heating the outside edge. Now to turn it off we turn the fuel off first, this one here, and then we turn the oxygen off. Hang up the torch, turn it off the wall. Our piece of brass now is annealed. We just need to quench that in water, in this water container here. Alright, so that brass is now annealed and it's nice and soft and so we can then uh, clamp it between our two wooden formers in the vise and start hammering it into shape. Right, now we're going to um, use a small hammer and we're just going to hammer that over and we're not going to hammer it over very far, we just want to go over about 45 degrees and so I'm just going to move around Avoid the temptation of, of smacking it right over, especially around this sharp corner here. If you can see that, you can. Because it may be that we need to anneal this two or three times. Holding it so it doesn't move, so the blocks stay in the same place, can 
relative to the piece of brass and just roll that around with the vise, clamping it firmly. And we'll be able to see that it's come out quite nice. Tell by the sound that the metal it doesn't really sound like metal. I know we're hammering it, hammering a metal against wood, but the metal's not making that ringing sound as metal usually does. So that's because it has been annealed and it's in a very soft state. Now, as we hammer it, it actually becomes slightly harder. That's called work hardening. In fact, I don't think we will need to anneal this. I think I can finish this in one go. So this time I'm hammering it around to a right angle. Now just be very gentle with the hammer because we don't want to hammer the metal so hard that it starts to embed in the wooden formers because we need to use these formers again for the other. We need to make two of these. Need to anneal that corner again. So I'm not going to get away. I need, do need to anneal it again, but I'm just going to anneal that corner and that corner there because the, we're asking a lot of the brass to actually stretch in two different directions for the tall order. A little bit of brass. All right, let's anneal that again, and I'll come back. Now I've annealed that. You may um, see that the colour has changed slightly on these corners. Too much of a hurry. Now, ideally, we don't want to see any hammer marks at all. So, if you have hammer marks, try and smooth them out. Now, we have some little um, we have some little pointy pieces here, which we might take we'll take off later on on the belt sander there and there, because that's where the metal has had to stretch the most to go around the corners. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, I'll take that out of the vise. Let's see what we've got now is our basically it's like a dish. We've got sides all the way around, and we need to make two of those. Oh, well, there's something I didn't mention, and that is the marking out that we've done with the scriber. The scribe lines need to be on the inside. We don't want scribe lines on the outside because they're just going to spoil the appearance. So all our scribe marks are on the inside, and so they get hidden away when these are joined together to form our brass container. Alright, good. 